Hello everyone. So in this video, I wanted to share my first time experience purchasing from AliExpress. And it did not turn out as well as I expected. So I uh, ordered from the app and being a first time customer, you uh, get like a 50% off on your first purchase. And so I was browsing and I found a nice, um, I guess, air uh, tire air compressor and jump starter and flashlight all in one. And so that, and then I also found, so this was it, uh, this nice little, and it has this nice jump starter with the air compressor. And I used that as my first um, discounted purchase. And then I found some other things as well, like uh, this ultra thin, mouse which retails for 18.87 and then I found some other things as well uh, a shaver and some other manscaping stuff and oh uh, these uh, earbuds um, ear clips uh, as well so I went ahead and added all of that to my cart and uh, if you're ever shopping also look out for choice brands because those will be um, will give you free shipping so just a little tip on that all right so I ordered it and the total came out to roughly like $50. So, so far so good. I was pretty excited, waited uh, patiently. I knew that it was shipping from China, so it's going to have to pass customs. So it's going to be at least a week or two before the items came in. Wasn't too big in a rush. Uh, these items... Um, I really didn't need immediately so waited and one week uh, passed and uh, I started well after the purchase it took me I purchased it on the weekend and the order was filled the following Monday and um, they gave me uh, they sent me uh, I guess like emails for each one uh, confirming that I purchased it and so and then afterwards they gave me um, they sent me email confirmations like hey uh, this item um, has cleared uh, import uh, clearance and everything else um, the first thing that was kind of like a red flag was that all my smaller items were uh, was able to be confirmed but my um, order for my car starter or an uh, tire air compressor combo took um, uh, took a delay to get confirmed so that was the first red flag didn't think of anything of it so continue the wait and wait and wait and for some odd reason it's um, the only item that was received was the car uh, jump starts um, and tire uh, compressor the other ones uh, they was uh, something happened it was uh, the package was damaged during shipping so it would be delayed 
AliExpress gave me um, coupon codes for each item. Uh, each coupon code was like a dollar to redeem. So I was like, okay, it's better than nothing. It's going to be delayed. So, but, um, so I was excited to open up the item that I did get. So that one took about two weeks to get in. And so it was the tire, um, air compressor, and um, a car battery jump start. So what I thought what I was getting was that, but unfortunately, I got the just the portable jump starter, which came in the damage packaging, which, uh, well, it came in this little flimsy thing and this um, damage packaging. So I was like, okay. <laughs> uh, no wonder why my other items got um, delayed because it probably got damaged um, uh, because it wasn't packaged correctly. I opened it up and I'm like, okay, so this is the battery jump start there. Uh, turned it on, it was at 80%, but then I noticed that the jumper cables were the only ones left and not the um, and not the uh, air compressor. So they sent me the wrong model and so I had to go and dispute it. So I went to dispute it claiming that it was not the right item that I was looking for and the dispute is so uh, so so f it was very funky um, let's see if I could get back to that so they basically um, they basically rejected my uh, dispute saying that they sent the correct one and there was really no way for me to uh, the dispute uh, process is really weird so um, it gave me an option to upload photos so I uploaded photos And then um, it told me I had to also upload um, documentations, supporting documentations. And there was no area for me to uh, basically um, write a message, basically to tell them, hey, this is the wrong one. I guess it was in the dispute. Uh, so I tried to upload a picture of a Word document, but it wouldn't let me um, submit it for some odd reason. So then I'm able, so I did it through the app, the AliExpress app, and it didn't work. So now, um, but if I use it from the web page, it, it worked. So now I'm just waiting and they're probably not going to accept my um, refund, which is okay. That's fine. I'll just hang on to this. It wasn't that much. Um, it was only like 20 bucks after the 50% discount, uh, originally costing $40. Uh, so I'll leave this in my car for emergency purposes. No big uh, deal. But really that soured my uh, shopping experience as well as um, the, uh, the delayed items for my refund. So now I'm probably have to wait another two weeks or whatnot. So moral of the story is if you're ever shopping from AliExpress, uh, three things to keep in mind is that um, don't buy anything expensive because um, it's uh, it's not always gonna be um, you, 
it might not turn out the way that uh, is seen on the web page or the app. Uh, number two, uh, temper your expectations, basically, uh, because it may look good uh, in the in the it may look good on the app and the video. So this is the video that kind of got me. Um, what was it? Hang on. So yeah, this is the one, the video that kind of got me was this video showing that it's a jump starter with air compressor, comes with the light, everything like that. It would wow me. But then if you go and scroll around, you're not gonna get that. Uh, so this is the one that I wanted. This is the one that I wanted. Um, but then they sent me this thing. So be very, very careful um, when you select it. You gotta make sure that it is the correct one uh, but even then it's it's kind of like a crapshoot almost you know so be careful with that um, and then and then my final thing uh, the number three thing is don't buy anything too too expensive uh, anything that you may regret if you don't get a refund for so Having said that, I um, went ahead and um, I looked at other uh, places um, that would sell this, uh, this uh, ear, these earbuds and uh, this uh, mouse. So over on Amazon, I was able to find the mouse but it was $32 versus the $18 um, that was showing so that was a 10 roughly a, a $12 markup which I would gladly pay because this is uh, coming uh, is going to be here this Sunday which is like um, about a five day uh, shipping time so I gladly play after going through that experience I gladly pay the extra $10 for that and then um the earbuds was a markup of um uh nine dollars and thirty nine but since I was buying two it was uh seven fifty one so that was a markup because these were four sixty nine for both earbuds so that was a Quite a bit of markup but this this also is shipped from the u.s both items were shipped from the u.s so i'm pretty sure those sellers uh bought it from aliexpress and then now they're selling it on uh, ebay and amazon at a markup uh, but um uh, i would rather uh go through these uh outlets uh before i would uh, do AliExpress again and um, uh, just because uh, if I needed a refund there was a way to refund it well, without any issues um, eBay and Amazon or at least uh, has some type of uh, system in place for uh, refunds and returns without any hassle or a lot less hassle than AliExpress so um, that was my first uh, bad experience with AliExpress. I'll probably shop with them again, but I will probably buy things that probably don't need so much. Um, so uh, tell me what you think in the comment section. Have you purchased from AliExpress? Was your experience a good one? Was it bad? Uh, let me know. Um, share your experiences with me um, hopefully I'm not the only one that got uh, duped uh, by these guys um, it's just the way the nature of these uh, Chinese uh, companies um, 
they're that's the way it is. <laughs> uh, I'll probably try out T Moon ne uh, next, and I'll probably do a video on that. But thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to my uh, complaining. Um, hope you found this uh, information useful. And uh, just be careful out there when you're shopping on um, these uh, cheap uh, uh, product selling websites, I guess you call them. These discounted uh, product selling websites. Uh, stick with your Amazon, stick with your Ebays, uh, your Pinterest, or whatever. Um, that is US, USA based, uh, really. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time.